Hello, hello, it's Roger again, and this is Price Quotes. This is uh, something I think in particular you guys will really, really like. Um, let's see here. This here is a separate thing from Wix. It's called Wix Ascend. Make you aware of that now. If you saw the, the, the invoice I sent you, it didn't have like the Ascend branding. Um, I think it had my logo on it. Uh, so just a couple of little, like extra features you get with this. This is a couple hundred bucks a year, and you probably don't need it right away. I'd say you know, once you get the ball moving, you can upgrade to it. I would just use the free version um, in the beginning, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so cool. Uh, it's kind of breaks down a few things, products and services. You can set that up in the website. We'll go through that later. Accept payments. Uh, we'll get into that uh, later because it is super important. So I'll make sure I make a little video on how you can actually accept payments. Um, edit business info. We'll get into that. Settings. Um, just all basic stuff. Settings. Exactly what you think it is. Basic settings. Send feedback is just sending Wix some feedback on how you like the, the software. This is relatively new. The price quote feature. Um, I know one of the developers um, from Wix had called me about it because they saw I was using it and they wanted my opinion on it. And I love it. Um, so, very, very cool. Real simple. Just go in. Uh, we're going to add in a logo. We'll use this one for now. I don't really like that, actually. Let's go stone I'm actually just going to set this up for you guys we'll leave the logo blank because I want to make you guys something a little better this is just going to be a test let's uh I want to say it was three two three make sure stone. so there's a little let's see Sorry, guys. I thought your email was going to pop right up. Did not. There it is. Stone setters. Perfect. Copy. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is going to make things super easy for you. Uh, remember, today's day and age, um, you know, like an email is uh, does hold quite a bit of weight. So uh, you can send these price quotes via email. I mean, it's basically like getting a signature, but also collect payments with it. So it's, I mean, I like this quite a bit. Uh, makes my life extremely easy, especially in the nature of my business, working with so many people out of the state, and even out of the country. So we're going to create a price quote. And you guys are just going to send it to me. So, um, for driveway. To customer. So let them know what it's for choose the customer uh, we're going to choose me because I'm already in the system and if I was in the system like someone you just met just go to new customer and spill out their information first and last name email um, subscription not sent that's to add them to your email list so at this point when you're getting the information from them you would say uh, excuse me Mr. Smith would it be okay if I subscribe you to the email uh, we send out you know, monthly uh, coupons and tips on how to keep uh, your your stonework, uh, you know, clean and maintained properly. We also um, offer, you know, maintenance uh, coupons, so I don't think you'd want to miss it. You mind if I subscribe you? Because legally you need to um, ask people before you put them into a mailing list. That's why that's there. Um, their phone number and then their address, and then you would save it. In this case, we're just going to edit me. So we put mail. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So my phone number, my office. 
United States, USA. And this is how this would look if it was properly filled out. Just want to show you guys, you know, how you get it done 100%. And you can always add some new stuff too. You know, like uh, if you want the date on there, all these other things, even though this will, this will send the date, you know. But this is some other options they give you to put in there. So browse through it, see if any of that is necessary for you. Maybe if you do like commercial work, you might want the company name in there, for instance. So first and last name of the manager or CEO and then the company name. Uh, if you were to do like, you know, some of your work at a commercial place, like a restaurant patio would be pretty neat. Boom. All right, perfect. So it's got all my information. It's all set. Um, you could put how long the quote's good for. So I think it sets it up for like almost a month automatically in the system. You could put it for whenever you want. You know, today's the 16th. You can say, hey, look, you know, this is an introductory price. You were really, really cutting you a deal, Mr. Smith. Um, so just want to let you know, you know this quote's going to be good for a week because right now we're kind of slow, so we're willing to cut corners for you or we're willing to, uh, to really take our pencil and you know, cut down the cost on you. But as things get busier, I can't say I can uh, honor this quote for longer than a week. So you, know, you can make them aware of that, you know, give them a sense of urgency, do a power seat, or like some of the bigger companies are net 15, 30, 10. I'm sure you guys are super familiar with this. Just makes it so all you have to do is drop down menu to do. You see how easy I'm clicking through this stuff? It's amazing. Um, now you can manually enter this information. Or if you had like a set, uh, you know, like a set item that you could sell, you know, you could also save it um, in here as well. So under add item, you could uh, keep that saved in the system. You can kind of go down. So like for you guys, for instance, we could put like, uh, you know, stone deposit. And maybe like every time that you hit a stone deposit for materials, call like the material deposit, that might make sense. There we go. So for you guys, maybe you have a set fee for material deposit. You call it material deposit. You know, and on average, you always ask for like a $300 material deposit. Uh, deposit to cover materials. Of something along these lines and even if there were certain jobs you know on average say it's always 300 but sometimes it's only 100 sometimes it's four you could still just select material deposit and then change it you know to whatever you want it to do and all that stuff would auto populate to also save you time in the future see what i mean so there's cool little you know, trips uh, uh tips and tricks to keep things fast and uniform so for you guys, you know, material deposit might make sense. And maybe like, uh, you know, um, labor costs. And maybe you like charging labor up front or labor deposit, you know, something like that. Um, which you could always add an item for, but it's kind of giving you an idea. You could put, you actually just fill in anything you want. So let me think of something that might make sense for you guys. A specialty, you know, like, uh, Special cleaning. You have to like prep a surface for certain types of stone. So if you don't do that often, you just type in it, type a description here, put a price, and boom. You just keep on going down. If you've got too many fields like we do here, it's extremely easy to get rid of them. So you always need at least one. And what we're going to do here is, is I am going to... Dun, dun, dun. Just put test. So, putting in a test, test, one dollar. You can put additional notes here, like if there's any kind of, uh, you know, like we greatly appreciate your business, or if there's legal things, like you know how long it needs to do, or any kind of liability in your business, you can also add that here, and it should save here, I believe. Um, now you can either Hit next to submit, or you can save it and leave it. And if you save an invoice here, it will be saved in your phone as well. And then you can send it out at any given time. So, like if you 
you know, had an estimate and you were kind of waiting on where to send it to, you could put it here, save it, and then send it from your phone once you get whatever information you're missing. We're just going to go right into saving it. So, boom, we're here at the estimate for the driveway. Nice, everything's nice and set. And uh, we can send it to them, you know, right to their email. And then it'll let you know that you said you have this sent out. And because I'm Mr. Cruz, you can see, oh, Stone Setter sent me something. No way. Oh, I've got a, I got, I got a price quote. Let's check this out. Oh, for the driveway, yeah. A dollar? Of course I'll accept it. They can also ask a question. But boom. And now it instantly turns into an invoice. And if we would have some kind of payment method attached to this, then they could pay with PayPal or their credit card or whatever you guys would like. Or you could leave it like this and they could pay you in person. You know, so you wouldn't actually have to attach any of that if you didn't want to. And you could print a copy. They could print a copy, save it to their computer. Um, all extremely easy. Extremely easy. And, to you know, um, what I like about it is easy and organized. So now you can see that it has been invoiced. Let's go into invoices. So now in the invoice section, you can see that you've got an invoice that's sent out for uh, Mr. Roger Cruz. And if I didn't pay that by tomorrow, the 17th, it would go to overdue and let you know. Uh, once it gets paid, it'll go here. And it kind of lets you keep track of how much money you're making through the website. So if people are paying you through the website or paying you through these invoices, you can kind of get a track of how much money you guys collected uh, throughout the month just right here. Um, if you want to go, this is the year version. You can do quarter, month, last 30 days instead of just a full month. Um, last year, as time goes on, it just kind of keeps it here. So you can kind of get an idea as to, you know, um, you made more money in March than in April or so forth, or last April compared to this April. Um, all on your website. This is all just part of your website. This is one of the reasons why I love Wix. They definitely are looking out for small business owners. Um, nobody else makes it this easy. So this is amazing. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the invoice video. Um, super, super easy. And let's just say, like, I did happen to pay you in person. Just like uh, we were talking about, you can also add the payment right here. So let's say I only had 50 cents. Now it'll say partial payment. See that? And it'll even let you know how much I owe here and here. Pretty neat, right? Um, if you want to remind me, hey, where's my 50 cents? Hit that resend button. And you can do that from your phone. You can't create invoices from your phone, which I wish you could. That would be pretty cool. But you can resend them from your phone. And just as you would suspect, oh, I guess I forgot I owed you guys some money. So super, super easy, really big life saver or time saver. Um, let you focus on the more important things in life, you know? Let this kind of stuff get streamlined. Nice little process. Um, just going to go ahead and void this out. All done. And if you didn't even want this voided fake invoice in your inbox, no problem. Just delete that sucker right out of here. Good as new. Same thing here. Good as new. All right. So um, that is basically the invoice and quoting tools that come with Wix um, in a nutshell. Um, I would think that this will hopefully make things easier for your business. Um, and should this video should help you get the hang of it rather quickly. If you have any questions, though, 
and reach out to me. I'm always here, okay? All right, let's go on to the next video. See you there.